a new PlayStation compatible game controller for your iPhone up next. <music> Welcome and thanks for watching. Please do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. Tap the bell to get notified when I post new content and give this video a thumbs up. I'd very much appreciate it. So if you enjoy gaming and using PS Remote Play on your iPhone, but find the on-screen controls just a bit cumbersome, then Backbone has a solution for you and it is the PlayStation Backbone for iPhone. And when I access Remote Play on my iPhone, I usually use a DualSense and a contraption like this and have my iPhone on there and I can use it and it's usable. It's a little top heavy, um, doesn't really feel stable, but for the most part it works. Well, hopefully I hope to upgrade that um, experience with this backbone. So let's go ahead and get to it and unbox it and put it on the iPhone and see how everything works. And there is the backbone. Looks like it has a game on snap in card. And on the back, looks like instructions on how to insert your device into the game pad. And here it is itself, backbone. And this is inspired by the dual sense. Let me grab that one. And you can see some similarities. Um, it would have been nice if they could have kind of copied the texture on the thumbsticks here and probably even like maybe the placement match the placement of where the thumbsticks are on the bottom and then have the uh, digital and button pads up top. Although the control pad and the buttons are clear like the dual sense and I know if you open up the back, there is a PlayStation logo. So this is definitely for the PlayStation, meant for the PlayStation and compatible with the iPhone. There is a lightning connector there and underneath a lightning connector to charge your phone or your device while you are playing and a headphone jack right there. And you have buttons. This is the button that brings up the backbone. This is probably um, options. And I believe one of these is a snapshot to take snapshots or video in game. L1, R1 triggers and L2 and R2 triggers. And these are very easy to control. There's the controller. And it looks like there is also a adapter for the iPro, iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max. And there is the adapter. And it's, this is so that the iPhone fits better in the device. I think probably the original design was for the iPhones that don't have the squared off edges. So this helps with that. And I think that's all that's in the box. Oh, there is a play safe. Safety guide. Okay. You don't really need a safety guide to, to use a controller. And since I'm using an iPhone 13 Pro Max, I'll go ahead and attach the, um, the adapter onto here. Looks like it just slides on like that. So the iPhone fits in like this. And inserts into the lightning connector like that. And there it is, that's how the iPhone fits in here. And I will say the size is similar to a switch. Let me go ahead and grab my Switch, actually, to compare. So here is a Nintendo Switch. And as you can see, they are really similar in lengths when you have an iPhone 13 Pro Max and the Switch. The sizes are very similar. So I know one question that a lot of you want to know. And the question I want to know is, will this work with a case? Um, I think that answer is no. Uh, there is very tight tolerances, but wanna go, why don't we go ahead and try a couple cases I think might work. Here we have the Apple Clear case um, with MagSafe. Uh, this is about, I would say, a average size of a case as far as thickness. Um, one reason I think this one might fit is because the bottom is open and it should allow for that lightning connector. So let's go ahead and see if this will fit in here. 
not gonna fit in at the top. But if we can get that lightning connector connected, no, it won't at all. With that adapter, it's not wide enough. It's not going wide enough. So let's go remove the adapter, knowing that we're using case anyway. And now it just sits flush with the edge. It's big enough to stretch, but yeah, with that bottom, I don't know if you can see that, but with the bottom and the thickness of the case, it won't allow that lightning connector inside there. So it will not work with the Apple case. Now I have one more case to try, and it is a very thin case that I had sent over for case reviews that I have not reviewed yet. And that is called a tack case, and these are very thin cases. So let's go ahead and try this tack case. quick look at the tag case. Um, very thin. So let's see how that looks on the phone. Again, this will protect from scratches, but I wanted to use this to see because it is such a thin case. It doesn't have that much thickness at all and see if this will work. Let's go ahead and put this adapter back on and see if it'll, well, let's, you know what? Let me see if it'll fit the, yeah. Good. Let's go ahead and put the adapter back on. Fit the phone in there. And, oh, maybe. Oh, let's see if the, uh, this, the controls work. And here's the Backbone app. I went through uh, the quick setup already. And, yeah, if this worked, this button would call up the Backbone app immediately so the controls won't work which means although it seems to fit in there physically the lightning connector is not making contact i squeeze a little no it's not working so to answer the question no the backbone controller will not work with a with a case I tried both the Apple MagSafe and this very, very thin tack case, and it will work with neither. You'll need to take your device out and use it without a case. So let's go ahead and press the Backbone button and bring up the Backbone app. And they do give you a free year of this Backbone app. Um, and it just lets you, it just allows you to access everything in one place. It's actually kind of a cool app. It brings up uh, your PlayStation Remote Play and games you already have installed. So there's Diablo Immortal. Let's go ahead and launch that and see how that works. Let's try some native iPhone games before we try the Remote Play. So this is checking for updates, updates and as we all know, that's going to take a while. Okay, looks like Diablo's all fired up and ready to go. All the uh, updates are done and you can tap to play. I'll go through a few games native and we'll try remote play later on just so we can see how well this controller works. And one of the difficult things is you can see they give you button options to, to talk or whatever, and they're all mapped to the original Backbone, so they won't have XWOW, they'll have A, B, Y, X instead as the uh, buttons. Go ahead and switch. We'll hit the backbone button to switch out. It works really well with that. 
And the uh, app actually preloads a lot of games, games you've played before, either um, on the App Store, like uh, I have Apple Arcade, and I play this Retro Bowl a lot, so it's auto-populated in here with games I can use. And there's other games that are controller friendly um, that I don't play, like I don't really play Among Us. Um, so let's do one more App Store game, because I do like Retro Bowl. Oh, this is actually cool with the controls. The, the touchscreen controls are, or it takes some time to get used to, but this feels like a, uh, like an old uh, Tecmo Bowl. You see, it's uh, Retro Bowl is a cool if you're if you're a fan of football games. I don't know if it's, a, uh, it's actually well, it's a little different for throwing this like. Uh, retro Bowl is a cool kind of retro, 8-bit, 16-bit football game. Um, I used to play a lot of Tecmo Bowl and, and Madden back in the day. Uh, and this is a good facsimile of it. You can actually, oh, that's cool. You can do rewind and fast forward with the uh, D-pad, the, uh, the thumb pad. So you can actually get extra controls because um, th these kind of rewind, replay for the replay, they are not available in the touch pads. So you get extra controls. The uh, passing takes a bit getting used to, but I do like, um, now I can actually control the runner instead of just uh, having him go full speed ahead and just do the uh, jukes. So I can hit a, hit a long one. Dropping him every time, huh? Let's go forth, because it's just a, uh, yeah, the controls take some getting used to, um, but that's Retro Bowl, cool game. We'll hit and go back, and let's go to what I think most people want to see is PS Remote Play. So my PlayStation is hooked up. Um, let's hope this works. I just heard in the background my PS5 turn on. And there's my PlayStation 5. Let's see, what can I play? Matrix Awakens. This is actually a pretty cool demo. Let's uh, fire this up. It shows, it's a, it shows off the Unreal Engine which I remember was actually pretty cool. You drive. I'll shoot. That's a pretty cool demo for Unreal Engine 5 on the PlayStation. Let's see if I can get out of here. The one thing this doesn't have is a PlayStation button. They should have made one of these buttons the, the PS button. So it's easier to get out of here. Let's see what else I got. Uh, Gran Turismo. I just downloaded this one actually. Now it's downloading an update file. So I think I can get a race here in Europe. Uh, let's pick, 
this. Let's just get into a quick race. Get out my way. Yes, this is how I drive in real life. So yeah, I really like this PlayStation Backbone controller for the iPhone. Um, it's going to be a much better experience, again, using these controls than the touchscreen controls on the iPhone when playing games. I can remote play my PlayStation, uh, I can play my native iOS games, my Apple Arcade games on here, and it functions a lot better and it feels much better in the hand. Uh, so what do you guys think of this PlayStation compatible Backbone for iPhone? Are you going to pick one up? Have you already picked one up? Um, please let me know in the comments below and until the next time, please take care and be safe out there.